filmed at Children's Museum Houston in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to... So this isn't Step Up to Sesame Street. I am your host, Jacob. Welcome to Mind Your Matter, the only game show that matters. Without any further ado, let's meet our contestants. Tied in first with two points, contestant number one is Anna Williams, a fifth grade science student from Mendeleev Elementary. Let's do this. Also tied in first with two points, contestant number two is Mikey Gomez, a sixth grade student from Rosalind Franklin Middle School. It's gonna be good. Coming in last with zero points so far, contestant number three is Phyllis Stein, who believes herself to be a super genius. Eureka! Alrighty then, let's spin the wheel of science! Calculate mass and volume, contestants. You will each be given an object. Your challenge is to calculate the mass and volume of that object. Your objects have been here the whole time. Contestant, would you like to open your mystery boxes? Starting with you, Anna. A large dice. Now on to you, Mikey. A metal ball. Now on to Phyllis. Phyllis, reveal your mystery object. Aha! What a beautiful specimen. This will be very difficult to measure. Luckily, I have come prepared for just such a challenge. We'll see about that. Now while our contestants prepare their experiments, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Welcome to Wacky Smatters Measuring Tool Emporium. We sell only the finest measuring tools. We've got double pan balances and triple beam balances to measure mass. We have metric rulers and meter sticks to measure lengths. So you can calculate area and volume. And we have graduated cylinders to measure liquids and liquid displacement. So come on down to Wacky Smatters Measuring Tool Emporium where we measure up. Welcome back. Before we see what our contestants have planned, while it is fun to do science experiments at home, you should always be sure to have a responsible adult. Like me. That remains to be seen. Help you. All right. Let's start with you, Anna. Easy peasy. I'll begin with volume, if you don't mind. By all means. Okay, so a cube is like a box. You can calculate the volume by measuring the length, width, and height, and multiplying them together. But because a cube is a regular polyhedron with the length of all the sides the same, measuring the volume is a breeze. I simply need to measure one side, then, multiply by itself three times because the length, width, and height of a cube are all the same. So this side is six centimeters and if I multiply six by six and by six again, I find that the cube has a volume of 216 cubic centimeters. Now for mass, I'll be using this double pan balance. I'll place the cube on one side, then I'll add counterweights or known masses to the other side until they balance out. Of course, if my counterweight side dips lower, I'll need to start removing the weights. And there we have it. Now I just add the weights I used and the mass of the cube is 21 grams. Fantastic work. But since we can't verify that that dice is a perfect cube, we can only give you a half point for volume. So that's one half point for volume, one full point for mass, bringing your total up to three and a half points. To our next contestant, Mikey. Mikey, show us what you can do. Awesome. I'm gonna start with mass for this one. For mass, I've got a triple beam balance. I'll place the ball in the pan over here. Unlike the double pan, I use the built-in sliding masses to get the pan to balance. Then I add up the amounts on the three beams to calculate the mass of my object. So our mass is 68 and a half grams. Now for volume. To calculate the volume accurately, I'll be using water displacement. First, I filled up this graduated cylinder to 200 milliliters, enough water to cover the ball. I'm going to write that down. Then I'll place the ball into the water. See how the water rises? Now I can write down the new number. To find the volume of the ball, all I have to do is subtract the first number from the second number. This tells me how many milliliters of water was displaced by the object, which gives me the volume of the object in milliliters. So our volume is 10 milliliters. 
Fantastic, Mikey. That's two points, putting you in the lead with a total of four points. Now on to you, Phyllis. Phyllis, take it away. This is a machine I've invented called the atomization chamber. Now, since volume is the amount of space that an object takes up and mass is the amount of matter in an object, I will calculate both at the same time by atomizing this unicorn and counting the atoms. Okay then, let's see it. There you have it. The machine has worked flawlessly. Now all I have to do is count the atoms. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, there is a time limit. Wait, they keep moving. Let me count them again. Ready? One, two. Darn it, every time I count them, they move. We'll give Phyllis a little bit more time, but I suspect she's not going to get it. Mikey leads with four points, Anna close behind with three and a half points, and Phyllis, so far, still at a big old zero point. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on... My Your Matters! That's right, Elmo, clap back. 233,112. 233,113, 233,100, wait, didn't I count that one already? <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.